this video, we're going to look at maps for JavaScript. Hey guys, John Alder here from CodeMe.com. And in this video, we're going to look at maps for JavaScript. And maps are very much like Python dictionaries. They allow you to have key value pairs. So in this video, we're going to look at how to create them, how to add things to them, how to take things out of them, and how to iterate over them. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist of all the other videos in this JavaScript series. So check it out if you haven't so far. If you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I've got our basic starter code that we've always got. I'm calling it maps.html. And let's come down here and let's just create a map. So to do this, like most things in JavaScript, we just define a variable. And let's create a map called cars. I don't know. And to create a map, we just call new map. Now, this is like an array with the brackets, but inside of the sort of main array, there are lots of little arrays to hold whatever your key value pairs are. So each key value pair will have its own little array or Python list if you're coming from Python brackety things. And inside of here, we just put our key value pairs separated by commas. So let's have a list of cars. So let's say Mercedes, and let's say we have six of them or something. I don't know. Or, well, yeah, we'll just do that. So Mercedes six, and let's say BMW, and we've got, I don't know, four of those. And then also Tesla. Now these can be numbers or they could be anything at all. So we can have string here too. So we could say blue, right? We've got a blue Tesla, <laughs> whatever. So that's it. That's how we create a map. So a little bit weird, but basically the same as a Python dictionary using different brackets and things, but you still have key value pairs. So in order to call these things, you're going to call the key, right? So the first thing is the key. The second thing is the value. So the key is Mercedes. The value is six. The key is BMW. The value is four. The key is Tesla. The value is blue, right? So, okay. Now let's just print out the value for one of these things. So let's say uh, print out of value. So let's go document dot get element by ID. Done this lots of times. And let's print out to the demo key tag up there. And we want to change the dot enter HTML to whatever we want to print out. So let's say we want the value of Mercedes, right? So we print out the value using the get function. So we just call our map, that's cars, and then we just dot get and then pass in whatever we want to get. So if we want Mercedes, we just do that. So let's save this and run it. This should print out the number six to the screen. Let's go to our C slash JavaScript directory and let's find our maps.html file and boom, sure enough, six. Very cool. So notice if we go lowercase m here for Mercedes and hit reload, it's undefined. So this is definitely case sensitive. Keep that in mind. And we can have this at anything we want. If we want to see what the value is for our Tesla, it's blue. So very cool, very easy. So let's comment this out. Now let's add another item. To do that, super simple. We just use something called set, right? So let's just call cars.set, and then we can pass in a key value pair. So um, I don't know, let's just go Toyota, right? And then here we want uh, 24 of them. Now we can again, make sure this has been added in by calling our Toyota key. So if we come back over here, hit reload, boom, we get 24. Very cool. Now we can also get the number of items in our map. So let's just print this out. We can call cars.size. So right here, there's one, two, three. We haven't yet added one. In fact, let's just comment this out. Come back over here and we see there are three items in there. And we can confirm this by, let's say, changing this, adding Toyota back, and printing this out down here. Let me just comment this out. Now, if we reload, boom, we get four because we've added a new thing. Very cool, and just that easy. So how do we also now remove an item? Well, we can use delete. So let's go cars.delete. 
And we can pass in anything. Let's get rid of that Toyota. Toyota. There we go. And again, if we want to come back here and grab the size and print that out just to make sure. Now we had three, we added Toyota, so that makes four. Now we're removing Toyota, so now when we get the size, it should be three. Hit reload, boom, we get three. Very cool. So I'm gonna comment this out. This is all well and good, but how do we iterate over the map? Print out everything in our map. Well, there's a couple of different ways to do this. I like to use a basic for each loop. So uh, let's let's create a variable called text and we'll have that equal to nothing. Just a blank variable. And then let's go cars dot for each. And we wanna call a function with value and key. Inside of this loop, we can do anything we want. So let's take our text variable and let's plus equal the key. And then also like a space, and let's say uh, equals, and then also put the value. And then let's also put a line break so that we have one on each line. And that's it. So now we've got this text variable. We've looped through and added everything in our map to it in a nice little list separated by line breaks. So now we can print that out to the screen. So let me copy this. And let's just print out our text variable. Save this, head back over here, hit reload. Mercedes equals six, BMW equals four, Tesla equals blue, and Toyota equals 24. Very cool. So we've talked about other things at JavaScript in this playlist using objects. It sort of does the same thing. Uh, that's sometimes a little more complicated to do than just using a map. So there are different instances where you might want to use one of those or one of these maps. A lot of the times you're just going to use a map because it really is, I think, a little easier very explicit. You've got your keys and your values. And it's very cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube 50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 200,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.